Hello again, everybody. Andy Kendi standing out live outside the FedEx Forum in Memphis, Tennessee. But the big basketball game tonight is in Pittsburgh, PA. Let's get right to it. Let's head out to the Steel City and join Matt Satilli, who's standing by live. Hey, Matt. Greg McDermott and Dana Altman, the two most winningest coaches in Creighton's history, have met 14 times before, but never with the stakes this high. That all changes tonight when they'll meet in the round of 32 at PPG Paints Arena. And make no mistake, there is nothing but mutual respect and admiration between the two men that made a meeting like this one possible. When you take over a program, I've always felt it's important to embrace your history and, and make sure our players understand of the, the work that the people that came before us did. And, and certainly Dana's era uh, of him as a coach and the guys that played for him you know, laid the groundwork for, you know, for me to happen and Doug to happen and the Big East to happen. None of that, none of that is, that's a, that's a pipe dream. Uh, without Dana Altman. If you're looking for one man that will be in the stands in Pittsburgh smiling down, it's Bruce Rasmussen, the former Creighton athletic director who hired both Altman and McDermott. He assured me last night, though, that th this is Blue Jays all the way. So uh, I haven't seen him face to face, but he made it clear in a late night text because uh, neither of us sleep after a game. So he just wanted to make sure I knew this was uh, I'm supposed to kick Oregon's ass, as he said. As for the big matchup on the court, it will feature Ryan Kalkbrenner, the three-time Big East Defensive Player of the Year, against Infali Dante, who is shooting 86% from the floor in his last six games. He's a really good player, very physical. He's good at trying to, like, acting like he's not in the play, and then all of a sudden ducking you in and getting an easy bucket just because he, he gets you to relax for half a second. So. I mean, I think a big thing for guarding him is just staying engaged for the full 40 minutes. Coach Max said the good news is, is one of us is going to be moving on, but bad news is one of us is going to be heading home. If Creighton is moving on, it'll be the team's third Sweet 16 in the last four seasons. Creighton and Oregon will tip off here at 840 Central. Reporting at PPG Paints Arena in Pittsburgh, Matt Satilli, KETV News Watch 7 Sports.